Hey Mike from We Make Change here. Just a quick video to explain the difference between our wireless and wired brake controller. So we've got two trailers that are the same spec here. Only difference is one's got a wired brake controller and the other one over there's got a wireless. So this one with the wired brake controller, we have a battery box in here where the battery sits for the system. Uh, we've got a breakaway located under here that clips onto your vehicle and you've got your usual uh, seven pin plug here. So going over to the wireless system, we've got a similar battery box, so slightly different in there. And then we've got the uh, controller that's located on the trailer here. And then you've got your same breakaway and seven pin plug here. So with either system, you have a hand unit up in the cab with you, uh, located near the driver. So this is the wireless unit that uh, clips in up here. And as you can see, it's uh, wireless. Um, it does get charged down into your cigarette lighter, but when it's charged up, uh, you can actually activate the brakes wirelessly. You can actually even walk around. Um, and activate the brakes, I can hear them working here now. So with this unit you can adjust the strength of the brakes or the gain up and down on the fly as you drive depending on conditions and you can also adjust the sense of sensitivity or how aggressively and quickly those brakes are applied and you've got the emergency stop here as well so you can uh, test your brakes or apply the brakes on a slope. Now looking at the wired handpiece that again sits up in the cab um, again, you can uh, adjust your um, gain or strength of the brakes. Um, you cannot adjust the sensitivity on this particular unit. And you've got your emergency brake here as well, just like before. But as you can see that this unit here is actually wired uh, into the vehicle. So this requires um, additional wiring that needs to be added to the vehicle in order for this unit to be plugged in. So using this system, if you want to hook a trailer up to your vehicle, you need to have this controller and it needs to be hardwired to your vehicle. So the wireless units obviously got the advantage of being wireless and it can be placed and used in any capable towing vehicle. So if you're not sure what vehicle is going to be towing your tiny house in the future and or somewhere um, you might be paying someone to tow your tiny house, uh, this is a really good, good way to go. Uh, it keeps keeps things nice and flexible. The only disadvantage really with this system is it's more expensive than than the wire than the wired system. Um, check out our website. We've got pricing um, on all of this. On our smart trailers, we do um, have the wired unit as standard, and the wireless is an additional upgrade. So I, ho I hope that's been helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments section below or our contact form via our website if you guys have got any questions um, around your braking systems for your tiny house trailers and any other questions tiny house related more than happy to help. We'll see you on the next one.